on that run, trying to pull out as much of the gap as you could. Definitely a huge amount of space. And that's where I think each round is super exciting, Ryan. The, the matchup is just so different each and every time. So, just a rest the advantage. advantage. Pushing through with the advantage. Darren oh, trying to show the wheel. Oh, looks like Darren blew the tire. This could be a good time. A 49.58 second clip for Alfred. Nice comparison to see how long it's been since this time. It's not just because it's my hometown, but I really like the valley stages and not just all bike, park and lift access because you know you got to get out there and ride, so it was, it was good. This is just the stomping grounds for a lot of fast guys, and I'm happy to kind of race with them. I race with them all the time, so this is just adding some bigger names into the mix. And today, again, the stage three, man, I had a crash at the bottom that threw away six seconds, and I think I was five seconds off the lead, so that would have been huge. Jesse, you had a, fairly, a pretty strong finish. You said a couple top five finishes throughout the stages, and to finish off strong here in front of your hometown crowd, what does it mean? Uh, it means a lot, especially since I have so many fans here. I have so much support on all the courses, and it's been it's been really cool to have a, a whole community back in So let's hear it for the Really technical, physical also, but really technical, so it's probably why I'm here the guys first of all. And uh, like, uh, I don't know how really to translate it, but it's uh, usually to have a physical part with the organization. Like to, um, we have a lot of uh, big trails going uphill, and uh, here it was super physical, and uh, we didn't have that kind of stuff, and uh, this is uh, what I prefer.